Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. Today is 696 of our trek, and it is Wisdom Wednesday. Every Wednesday along life's show, we will dig for the nuggets of wisdom that are found in the book of Proverbs. Today, we will explore Proverbs 27 from the voice translation, which will give us a fresh perspective on this book of timeless wisdom. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House at Marietta, Ohio. When this episode airs, I will be on site with our partners on our construction project in Mesa, Arizona. It is important that we invest time together assisting each other to make the business and the project successful. Even more important than this is that we are providing a product that will benefit the funding group and ultimately the purchasers of the townhomes. As we explore Proverbs 27 today, it is important that we invest in the lives of people because people are more important than things. Hezekiah's scribes arranged this collection into two parts, each with its unique design and message. Part 1 is made up of verses 1 through 22, and every two verses in Part 1 are linked together by a common theme. Part 2 is a one-unit poem that spans from verses 23 through 27. As we look at Part 1, verses 1 through 22, the Hebrew alphabet is also comprised of 22 letters, and many scholars believe that this section was intentionally designed to be 22 verses long. Every two verses are paired and highlight different interpersonal skills. In other words, this is a collection of the ABCs of successful relationships. If you ignore this wisdom, your relationships will suffer. Follow this advice and you will nurture lasting friendships. Part 2, which covers verses 23 through 27, this section is one long flowing poem about leadership and is rich in farming imagery. The purpose is to develop character in leaders. And the point is that leading requires constant attention and personal care. Your resources are continually shifting and your opportunities changing. The only way to create stability is through careful attention to those that you lead. Together, parts one and two send a clear message. People are more important than things. Invest your energy into people. Do the hard work it takes to cultivate healthy relationships. Who needs your time today? In what ways can you prioritize people over task? Ask the Lord for insights as you go about your day today. So now listen intently as I read Proverbs chapter 27. Don't brag about what may happen tomorrow because you have no idea what it will bring. Let someone else praise you. Compliments are always sweeter from a stranger's lips than from your own. Heavy is a rock and weighty is sand, but more burdensome than either of these is the anger of a fool. Wrath is fierce and anger is a tidal wave of fury. But who of us can stand against jealousy? Open rebuke is better than hidden love. Wounds inflicted by a correction of a friend proves that he is faithful. The abundant kisses of an enemy shows that he lies. A person who is full has no interest in honey, but to the starving, bitterness itself tastes sweet. Like a bird that strays from its nest, so is the person who forsakes his own home. The heart delights in the fragrance of oil and sweet perfumes, And in just the same way, the soul is sweetened by the wise counsel of a friend. Do not neglect your friend or your parent's friend for that matter. When hard times come, you don't have to travel far to get help from your family. A neighbor who is near is better than a brother who is far away. Study to be wise, my son, and make my heart glad. For then your life will be my answer to anyone who hurls insults. The astute see evil coming and take shelter, but the stupid plow right on and then, of course, have to pay the price. If a person guarantees a stranger's debt, hold his garment for collateral. If he guarantees a debt for a foreigner, make sure you get a deposit. Anyone who blesses his neighbor with a loud voice early in the morning will find his blessing regarded as a curse. A constant dripping on a rainy day and a wife's bickering are very much alike. Anyone who tries to control her might as well try to control the wind or pick up oil in his right hand. In the same way that iron sharpens iron, a person sharpens the character of a friend. Whoever takes care of the fig tree will eat of its fruit, and whoever cares for his master will be honored. Just as water reflects a person's true face, so the human heart reflects a person's true character. Neither the grave nor destruction is ever satisfied, The desires of people are never totally fulfilled. The crucible is used for refining silver, the furnace for gold, but praise is what tests a person's metal. Though you grind a fool like grain, with mortal and pestle, 
still his foolishness will not be separated from him. Pay careful attention to your flocks and see to the welfare of your herds. Because riches do not last forever, nor does one dynasty retain power through all generations. When the hay is harvested and the autumn grasses begin to grow, and the herbs on the mountains are gathered in, then the lamps will provide wool for your clothing. Young goats will be sold to buy a new field, and there will be enough milk from your goats to sustain you, your family, and your serving girls. That will conclude our exploration of Proverbs 27. We must learn that people are truly more important than things or possessions. Each of us needs to focus our lives on this principle. The precepts found in God's Word have the laws of planting and harvesting built into them. You plant good seeds in life, and you'll reap a bountiful harvest of good. And the opposite is also true. Over the course of our lives, we harvest what we plant. Each week we will explore a full chapter in Proverbs, and I hope that you'll join us next week for chapter 28, so that you can gain wisdom, insight, and understanding for yourself. The entire book of Proverbs provides us with rich wisdom, insight, and understanding on a myriad of life issues. And regardless of where you are on your faith walk, if the precepts of Proverbs are followed, your life will be rich and satisfying. I encourage you to take them and plant these seeds of wisdom into your hearts so that you'll reap a harvest of wisdom throughout your life. Tomorrow we will continue with our three-minute mini-trek called Wisdom Unplugged, which will provide you with a bit of wisdom that, if followed, will allow you to grow healthier, wealthier, and wiser each day. So encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our trek for today. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks or read the associated journal, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. You can also subscribe to iTunes or Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor. But most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly love unconditionally listen intentionally learn continuously lend to others generously lead with integrity and then leave a living legacy each day i am guthrie chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward enjoy your journey and then create a great day every day see you tomorrow